Hey y'all to my dear friends out there. Um, I'm not gonna cook anything in this little short video because y'all do some of the sweetest things in the world out there, you know, for me and to me. And you know, I just wanna stop cooking long enough to come in uh, and say some things to y'all because, you know, Thanksgiving's right around the corner and we start thinking about things we're thankful for. And y'all are right up there at the top of my list. I'm so thankful for y'all. And uh, I just want to share some things that people have sent in to me recently. And this is, uh, it says, Paula, hello, my name is Francisca Clintedinian. <laughs> Clint. Clinton, you know who you are. <laughs> How do you pronounce that, Eddie? Clinton? Clinton, yeah. There you go. And they say, I'm from a small town in Marion, Illinois, just three hours north of Nashville, Tennessee. And I've been following you for years. Uh, I've been following you since the quarantine cooking, and I haven't missed a single video yet. Uh, Thank you for all the love and laughter that you share with your fans. You sure do brighten our lives. Y'all have become part of our family in our home, along with Eddie and Teresa and the rest of your beautiful family. Oh, how sweet. What do y'all say about that? What would y'all say? Thank you. Thank You're you. You're part of our family, yes. too. Yes. Oh, that's so sweet. So keep continuing blessing us through love and best dishes. I came across this pad of butter, not a pat, but a pad, and I immediately thought of you and I had to get it. Love and best dishes to you from Southern Illinois. And give those triplets a big squeeze for me. Thank you so much, it's so thoughtful of you. Uh, now this little notepad, you unwrap the butter and what looks like butter is really a notepad. But what a cute little gift. Isn't that Especially precious? Especially for the butter queen. Yeah, for the butter queen. <laughs> oh my goodness, I kinda hate to open it because it's so cute to look at. But thank you, thank you, thank you, Franciscus. I appreciate that so much and I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. All right. The next gift I got was from Hunter Lee, Chef Hunter Lee. And there's some great recipes in there. I'm telling you what, Louisiana cooking, it'll blow the top of your head off. It's so daggum good. Hmm? Does he have a shrimp? Does he have a um, barbecue shrimp? I'm sure he does, and we'll check it out. I hadn't had a chance yet to pick out what I'm gonna prepare from this. But Chef uh, says, Paula, thank you for years of inspiration and the kind words last year when I was in town. And thank you always for being you. Love, Hunter Lee. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef Hunter. Uh, it sounds like Eddie has already gone through it <laughs> and drooled over the recipes. And look, I opened it um, to this page and it's on Southern Cast Iron Cornbread. And guess what I'm gonna be making today? Cast cornbread. iron cornbread. In the cast iron. And I bet our recipes are a lot alike. Southern fried catfish fillets. I don't know what this word is. Z-Y-D-E-C-O. Zadico crawfish. Zadico. <laughs> okay. Zadico crawfish jambalaya. Zadico is a type of music. Oh. They listen to it. In, in, I don't in get Louisiana. it. I don't get out much. <laughs> But they, oh, 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 wait. Now, where did that go? I just, Commander's Palace Barbecue Shrimp, <gasps> Teresa. We're gonna have to. There you go. I make my own version, but I can't wait to read, read your version. Your version, Seth, Chef. I need to go get me either some new teeth or a new tongue. <laughs> or some coffee. 
and wake up. Yeah, I've already had one, two cups. No, I've had two cups. But thank you. I can't wait to sit down and read this recipe to see how close mine is to what he does. So thank you so much. And I want to show y'all this. Now, if this ain't sweet, grits ain't groceries. <laughs> literally, literally sweet. Uh, I just love folks, the sweet folks. Uh, it's called Ghost Ship Fragrance Company. Uh, founded in Chicago, Illinois. And it is from Ursula Blasky. Bilski. How would you pronounce that, Eddie? Yeah, Bilski. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting so good with my mail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dear Paula, words can't express my gratitude to to you for all that you and your Paula Posse do each day for so many of us. Like such a great number of people, I have followed you from the beginning, but you really saved me during the pandemic when I lost my 20 year tour company, which we had to close in March of 2020 due to the COVID-19 shutdown. I thought we would be able to reopen, but when additional shutdowns kept happening, I decided to just go ahead and close the business and figure out something else to do to support my family. So I started a small perfume business, creating scents inspired by legendary places and people. And my husband helped me set up a small workshop and uh, where I could mix, bottle, label, and ship my perfumes. It's been slow going, though we are grateful for the support and encouragement we have gotten. Uh, I know it will be a long, hard road to build a new company, but you know, anything worthwhile is gonna be hard work, but it will be worth it. It will be worth it. Uh, let's see, I could not help going through this without your inspiration. My elder daughter sent me a link to your quarantine cooking shows after it started, and it was like a lifeline to be able to see you and your family each day and to laugh a little with you, cook a little with you, something that brings me so much joy and uh, be, all right, let me see, and be encouraged by your success, kindness, and sweet words. Watching you, I feel I am back with my grandma, aunts, uncles, and cousins in the kitchen here in Chicago so many years ago in much better days. Uh, let's see, you encourage me to keep trying to bring my family and friends together no matter how busy everybody is. And you inspire me to keep working, working, working on my business like you did. I know I will get back to a place where I can support my loved ones again. Meanwhile, it is good to keep cooking and laughing with you and yours. So I wanted to do something nice for you to thank you for all that you've done for me. So I made a special perfume inspired by your warm Southern charm. Thank you. Your pretty garden and your wonderful cooking, of course. But I hope that you enjoy this one of a kind bottle I named Love and Best Dishes, which includes scents, scent notes of rosemary, gardenias, oak moss, vanilla, and of course, peaches. Aww. Love and Best Dishes to you, great. dear Paula, and Michael and Eddie and Teresa and Jamie and Bobby and Michelle and Anthony and your wonderful family. Thank you so much, Ursula. But now that's all so good, but now I'm gonna tell you the bad news. When it got here, somehow it had gotten open during the shipping. I, th I think it may have leaked through the spray. Uh -huh. through leaked the, through uh, the spray. And look, that's how much is in the bottle. But you know what I did? It had all that um, kind of paper around it. So yeah. it absorbed. Yeah, wow. like a tissue paper almost. Yeah, yes. and I have put it in like your powder rooms. Oh, around good. The plants. And so you have good. some room freshener. Put it in your underwear drawer. 
<laughs> You'll have the best smelling underwear. <laughs> Even if it's got brown stripes in it, it'll smell good. <laughs> but look at this beautiful little bottle she designed. So thank you so much, Ursula. You made my day. You made my day, girl. All right, and this next book. I have so many cookbooks. Now this, um, I think... You got when we were on Myrtle Beach. In Myrtle Beach? Yes. And this is from Barbara McKay. Yes, I think I did meet her there, didn't I? Yep. She came and brought me this in person. Oh. For the beloved Paula Dean, what an honor to have my special friend Casey hand deliver this book to you. You're an inspiration to so many, including me. Thank you for the joy of you. Please enjoy my story and recipes. Be blessed. Barbara McKay. I love books that have stories too. I know, I know. And the sweet words that these people share with me, you know, I've had some dark days. Everybody knows I've had some dark days. But I do try to get up every day and put my big girl panties on. I really do, and uh, make my mother and daddy and my brother proud, the ones that have gone on. So, on a dark day, you read something like that, and it takes you into another wonderful place. So, Barbara, I have not had a chance yet to sit down and read your book, but I am because I read a cookbook like I do a novel. <laughs> I'm reading the words from Casey Ballard, and she's the one that came to my book signing in Myrtle Beach. Thank you so much for the opportunity to meet you after years of such admiration. You have provided so many wonderful recipes out there and tips to do day, including me. Thank you for always being you. Thank you for also allowing me to introduce you to Barbara from the fir, from the first moment I from saw you. yes from the first moment I first saw you, you reminded me of her after her days after her days on TV. I remember thinking she is a real life cook like Barbara. So I hope you will enjoy this book, and I will, Casey. And thank you so much for getting Barbara's book to me. I look forward to it. Now this one, this is the one that just came in today, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna share a recipe with y'all, not today. Not today, because I just now opened this. It just came in today. I'm gonna share a recipe from Matthew Swenson for possum pie. And I think he was at the book signing in Myrtle Beach. Yes, he was, he was. So y'all stay tuned because in one video, there's gonna be a possum pie show up. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> Love it. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.